Hello, all my friends and fiends. We're back in the crypts of Super Monster City as we dig deeper like forensic archaeologists in our unscripted mayhem of explaining cool toys from our collective youth. If you want more information and if you want to see more pictures of really, really, really cool toys that I think are so cool, full of like stories to tell, go to Super Monster City on Facebook. That's all one word. And just look through the photo gallery. It never ends down there. Today, we're talking about the other world from Arco. Take a look down here. My cameraman, Ruth, is going to try and pan over some of these guys. So that's Guy Fan the Dragon. And that's like just kind of a boring guy. This was, these were, the guys were like um, Gumby guys. They had wires in them, but they just had so much imagination to their design. And I bought them in 82. They're created by Arco Industries. And I just thought they were so fabulous and they never get any really recognition. And there's another guy. Okay, I think that's Zendo. And he's on a big bird. I mean, they all had like really cool stuff to ride. They're very colorful. This guy is on, sh this is Hundo the Hatchet Man. And he's on that, he's on that shark -os. And can you imagine fighting with these guys and all their weapons glow in the dark? I mean, they really had no backstory, but I'm going to explain what they had later. And this is their little frog guy. His name escapes me. It is Fracuda. Fracuda. All righty. And then we've got, again, there is um, Zendo, evil king of the Mogs. All righty. And you see, you can bend him, and he'll stay in space. So they can ride all these cool guys. And then here is, I can't even remember who this guy is, but he rides this guy. And and so there you go. I mean, half half sort of centaur dog boy. Arr, arr. Get them fight, fight, fight. Now this one I brought down just recently for this shoot, and you can see he has been in the crypts for so long. He's wearing a a cloak of dust. A sort of antiquity surrounds him. I love it when toys get this aged to perfection. They've told their stories and waited for years to come out and play. And who is this two-headed guy? I don't know. But see, this is the only thing I could find. This is the other world. I saved all the packaging as well. So they were the fighting Terrans. That must be the good guys. And there's their little backstory. You know, the other world in another time, in another place, there is the other world in some ways far above and beyond, in others dark and far below. It's recorded history here and presented to you from the memory of the tale teller. As it seems, he knows all, but tells very few. He tells of heroes and warlords, of beautiful princesses. He tells of demons and dragons. Oh my God, how could you not get excited? And evildoers who plague their galaxy. Come with the tale teller to the adventures of the other world. Oh my God. If there's a kid out there that doesn't go, oh, let me go crazy with these. It would, I, who is that kid? So again, the other world, really cool. I've decided they're so cool that some of these guys have to go to one of our upcoming exhibits. Even though they don't have a lot of legacy and history, they never had a movie, they never had a TV show, they never had a comic book, but how can you resist them? They're so loving. And just to tell you about Super Monster City, we still buy new toys. I just got this guy this week on Amazon and he's from a company called Kolobok. And all I do is I look for monster toys and then I buy the scariest and the evilest and the creepiest because they're the ones that need help. And then there's another really cool company. This is the company name that I can never pronounce. And they've got a whole series of really cool monsters and really cool mythical, fantastical characters that you should maybe check into if you're a collector of monster stuff. Well, here I am. The crazed collector, the one who saves all, knows all, or pretends to. If you know more than me, please tell me. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me things that I want to know. I've told you things you don't want to know, so tell me some stuff that I need to know. And again, check us out. Share us. Look around. See where our exhibits are going. See what we've got for sale. See if there's anything that you want to know that I know, and vice versa. Until the next time we meet, have a great one and enjoy your imagination to the fullest. <laughs>